Hi there, I'm Mary Jane, and this is Piper Jane. I think she looks like me. What do you think? <laughs> She's so asleep right now. This is how you want a newborn when you're um, getting ready to do a shoot. You can pretty much do anything with them. Um, but I'm so excited for you to come on this journey with us as I document Piper going to be um, you know using three different cameras and I hope that one of them will um, fit you know what you're looking for and help you to take better pictures of your kids so first things first we start with a newborn shoot so get your babies ready and um, get your cameras and we're gonna give it a shot The first thing you want to do when photographing a newborn with a point-and-shoot camera is turn off the flash. This little camera thinks it's really smart and oftentimes uses flash when it's not necessary. Nowadays, almost all digital point-and-shoot cameras have different modes that you can shoot in, like for instance portrait or landscape. I wanted to find a mode that would allow me to shoot in a lower light situation without flash. What we don't want is blurry or dark images. So I decided to shoot in what was called sports mode. My camera basically thought I was going to be shooting something with lots of action. Therefore, it was going to give me a higher ISO, which you can think about as film speed. And with that higher ISO, I was going to get longer shutter speeds which was going to make sure that the image wasn't going to be blurry. If you can't find a sports mode on your point and shoot, look for something called night portrait or night landscape. That will give you the same type of effect. It will give you a higher ISO and a faster shutter speed. Another thing I want you to find on your camera is your exposure compensation. This is a little tool that will allow you to lighten and darken your images. It can usually be found through the menu button. The best time to photograph a newborn baby is anywhere from four days old to about two weeks old. Piper Jane is 10 days old. She is still so sleepy and tiny and it's the perfect time to do it. The first and most important thing to think about when you're getting ready to take a photograph is the light. Today we're going to be using window light. Window light is one of my absolute favorite light sources. It's soft light, it's even light, and everybody has a window in their house. It's the perfect light to photograph a newborn baby. The best window in your house is probably the biggest window. We don't want actual sun rays coming in the window. We just want a soft directional flow of light that can float right over the baby and light every part of her. Another important thing when you're photographing a newborn baby is you wanna have the room really warm. I have a space heater in here and I'm probably gonna be sweating profusely throughout the shoot but it's worth it. It keeps the baby really comfortable, it keeps them asleep longer, and it's just an all-around better experience for the baby. The perfect thing to use when posing a newborn is a bean bag. They're perfect because you can conform them to their body, they're really comfortable in here, and it really just eliminates the background. When you're positioning the bean bag in front of the window, you want to get as close to the window as possible. We don't want to have to deal with a lot of shadow, so the closest you can get to the light source, the more evenly it's going to skim across her. For this cocoon shot with Piper, I wanted to make sure to always keep her little legs crossed. They love being in the fetal position. They love being tucked in tight and close. So keep their little legs crossed, get their little arms in close to them, and they'll just be so comfortable. Once I got my camera in the correct mode, I took a shot and I looked at the back of the camera to see if I needed to add or take away any exposure. I ended up adding a third exposure to get the right exposure for Piper's skin. The way I created those last shots was I put a black throw right over the bean bag and it was the perfect way to highlight her skin. And it looks like she's floating and I love that look. So right now, Piper is what we like to call a little bit milk drunk. <laughs> so 
So before you do a newborn shoot, you want to make sure they are nice and well fed. And that just kind of takes them to another dimension. For this shot, I wanted to expose for Piper skin. So I used the exposure compensation on the back of the camera to make sure it was just right. Because I exposed for her skin, the black background faded even more into the distance. And because she was nestled in the bean bag, it looked like she was floating. I love that effect. I do want to stress though, that if you don't have a bean bag or you don't have a black throw, you can use other things around your house. You can use a big pillow. If you have a favorite blanket or a scarf or something that you really love, incorporate it into the shoe. It makes it a lot more fun. So we're gonna put this little hat on her and she's gonna lay right in here and we might try to do one on her stomach and one on her back. We'll just kind of see how what different positions we can get her in. So you wanna always try to cross their feet right here. And just hold them there till they shh. I just love the little knit hat that I found for Piper for this shot. I love the angelic look it created when we laid her against the white fur rug. It was just so precious. Remember, always try to get a different viewpoint. Once you get a certain shot from one angle, don't be afraid to mix it up. I decided to shoot from above for this shot, and I really like the effect that it created. Another great tool to use when posing a newborn is a boppy. It's the perfect shape and you can lay their body right here in the center and it's so comfortable for them. You can get them in a lot of neat positions using the boppy. So what I did to create those last shots was I used the boppy and then I put this white rug over it. I love the texture of this. It's so soft and yummy and it's the perfect background for a newborn baby. I love creating shots using Daddy. He is honestly the best prop that I can think of. It really helps to show exactly how small she is, and it also creates that emotional impact that we all love. One of my favorite shots was using Mark's hands to show exactly how small Piper's little head is. It is so precious. It's not going to be that small for very long, and it is something that I always want to remember. I had a professor at Brooks Institute that always used to say, just when you think you have a really great shot, turn around and look behind you. This is kind of what I was thinking when I decided to put the window behind Mark and Piper. It created a completely different image. And because the light source was behind them, it created an almost silhouette effect, which I really liked. I loved using Mark as a prop for this next series of shots. Once I got the wide angle shot with Mark and Piper, I decided to get in close. Mark's black shirt was the perfect backdrop for a close up of Piper. It was almost like you didn't even know he was there. So always remember, get in close. For this shot, I decided to place Mark behind Piper. That way, when I focused on her, he faded a little bit more into the background. You knew he was there, and it created such a wonderful image. You really can't get too many close-ups of a newborn baby. Everything is so fresh and new and so tiny, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. So don't be afraid to get in close. It's also a great way to get rid of any background clutter. You'll be surprised with how powerful an image you can create. This is such a classic shot. Some might say cliche, and yes, I've seen it a hundred times, but I still wanted one. I wanted Piper's foot in Dad's hands. I love the scale that it creates. But I also decided to try to get a little bit creative and I put Piper's foot up against Dad's big toe. This created a really fun image. All moms are natural photographers. We just can't help but want to preserve every little moment, every little feature, because they're not going to be this little forever. 
So start today. You won't regret it.